Hello Gemini, thank you so much for logging on and checking out this video. You have reached Natural Vibration and my name is Ratnika. These are your May love readings. These are general readings and may not resonate with everyone. So if you want, you can, write, you can get a private reading with me to get understand more details about your particular situation. And if you <clears throat> like this reading, it would be, if you do, sorry, I'm having, I'm a little tongue tie moment. Maybe this is something to do with your throat chakra. Maybe some of you are not being able to voice what you feel. But what I wanted to say <clears throat> was that if you like this video, it'd be great if you could like, share and subscribe. All right. So what's the overall and love energies for the month of May for all Geminis? Whoa, too many cards. Gemini. One or two max, please. All right. <clears throat> we have got the star card. Interesting. So these are the Lenoma decks, but I kind of go with a little, do it a bit differently, but let's see. In the game of hope, we make progress along, along a snake and ladders type of map of life. At this stage, arriving at the star of good prospects. Here we see the stars mapped out on a zodiac, zodiacal, zodiacal compass, sorry, indicative, indicative of this very journey. See, I can't talk for your reading. Something is going on with you guys through life. The cards in the Lenoma can be interpreted as a fixed course, something that is preordained. The stars indicate the need for vision and the desire for wish fulfillment. We all have heard the saying, that someone who has stars in their eyes and that we should follow our own star. Therefore, it is a card of optimism and ambition. The car star card is a card that pertains success and much promise. Think thanking one's lucky stars as well. All right. So Gemini, I feel the month of May is all about you wanting... <coughs> excuse me. All about you wanting and wishing and dreaming about your wish fulfillment, what it is that you want. And I also feel this could be a very positive card where stars might be aligning for you to make sh to help you get to what you want. OK, so let's get some more clarity. Dear universe, please work with me. And tell me what's going on with Gemini and love. See, yep, this card was all about, you know, your stars come aligning <clears throat> because we've got blossoming or blooming, sorry. You're getting, you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. Okay. First card is very promising. It is telling you that whatever it is that you wanted in your love life, whether it's a particular relationship or situation, things are sort of heading towards, you know, the, you're following your stars, you're at it, and things are sort of aligning. The stars are sort of aligning and helping you get there this month. What else? Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers are being heard and being answered. Beautiful. I think May is going to be a big month for you guys. Whatever it is that you've been asking. And look at her. She, um, Mother Mary's got stars around her, right? So whatever it is that you've been asking for, it's coming. It's coming, Aquarius. It's come. Oh, sorry. Wow, I said Aquarius. So weird. I meant Gemini. Maybe some of you have something to do with Aquarius. But things are coming your way, Gemini. Yep, we've got fertility. Perfect time for you to start new ideas and new conditions. So I'm getting that things are aligning for you this month. And what will help you is to go out in nature and spend some time in nature. That's going to help you get clarity and help you understand. Okay, leap of faith was also turned over. This is talking about you taking a leap of faith or somebody taking a leap of faith when it comes to you and this love relationship. So I'm getting already, this is a big, big month for Gemini, the month of May. Now for some of you things, you know, your, your love relationship is moving to the next level. It's so funny because, um, my cousin is a Gemini and she's expecting her first baby and fertility giving birth to new ideas is taking steps in the next direction in your love life right because babies are the next more you know next direction so 
there is something that is going on in your love life that you have been wanting you've been hoping you've been you know working towards and things are aligning in the month of may beautifully you've got blooming expect a miracle fertility everything is aligning and it advises to spend some more time in nature that would really help you you know get things in alignment okay so let's get some more clarity for gemini love readings for the month of may people always think love readings is just about romantic love but it isn't it's about family love it's about children as well right because love is broad so this could even mean children like i said gemini love admired okay so there might be somebody you have been admiring for a while from afar uh usually when you're admiring somebody it's usually from afar you're not very close to them but it could be somebody you know but you've been uh, admiring somebody or somebody's admiring you perch interesting what else is going on for gemini okay we got a lot of cards deception okay refocus ascending devotion okay all right what i'm getting is that you know there is somebody who you've been admiring from afar or somebody has been admiring you from afar they have been deceptive up till now they have not been honest with you they've sort of hidden their true feelings maybe or maybe you have hidden your true feelings but what is this is telling me is that you're now that feeling is now being purged and there is a refocus happening you're focusing on the positive you're focusing on the true devotion to this person either you or your partner and that is helping this relationship ascend to the next level hence expect a miracle blooming etc so i feel this could be a relationship situation with a particular person that where they have not you have not, you've been admired from afar or you're admiring them from afar but in the closeness in the 3d you're not you've been deceptive about it you've been you know not being honest about it and now that is being changed you're purging that or they're purging that and now you're focusing on the love focusing on the true devotion and that is helping you guys ascend to the next level in this relationship so i do feel there could be some reconciliations coming there could be some relationships coming into union of course if it works in other avenues like um you know babies that is also there because we've got the fertility card as well so <clears throat> this is all about you know getting getting out of the old and getting into the new which is all about love and happiness expecting miracles all right and being true to yourself so let's get some advice card for gemini for the month of may love synchronicity all right aquarius got this card as well this is all maybe that's why i said aquarius in the beginning this is all about things aligning magically for you because it's meant for by the universe it says are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the world that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time people and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence in reality they are being guided to you from spirit world to help you for a specific person for specific sorry specific reason this is telling me and i you know the reason i can't speak is maybe some of you somebody either you or your partner has not been able to truly be voice their actual feelings and that's why i've been getting the throat thing but now that could be changing things are aligning magically and they're happening because it's meant to be the universe is making things happen in a certain way because that's what you're meant to have that's where it's supposed to go you know so these signs and synchronicities are not just coming for the heck of it they're coming because that's why that's what is meant to be all right last advice for gemini cleanse all right yep it's time for you to cleanse your body mind and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing so you're going into nature as cleansing as well just as you wash your car clean the house or tidy your office your body also needs care and attention it is time for some emotional physical and 
spiritual and physical cleaning so it might be a good idea for actually for you to cl clean your environment you know clean um, cleanse your body with palo santo or incense or sage take salt water baths or just go out in nature and ground yourself by walking barefoot in nature that's really going to help you sort of ground and get cleansed from the old negative energy but i do believe you guys are going to have a you know a big big change in your love okay you've got expect a miracle you've got blooming you've got fertility ascending i mean you've got such positive cards and you've got the star i feel this month of may is going to be huge for you gemini and i can't wait for you to tell me what happened so good luck and let me know how things turned out for you take care bye